Abraham Lincoln pointed to the map right there. He said, there's Vicksburg, Mississippi. And he said, I'm familiar with Vicksburg. I've taken a flatboat down the Mississippi River several times. And what he would do, he would load the flatboat full of uh, uh, all kinds of products and, and wares. Uh, it'd be a little square wood boat with a keel behind it. And he would cut, float down the Mississippi River from Kentucky down to New Orleans. He would sell his wares, tear the boat apart, sell the wood, and then he would uh, walk back to Kentucky. Uh, or if he made enough money, buy a horse and, and ride a horse back to Kentucky. Well, he had done that a couple of times. So he knew that we're not going to be able to bring this war to a close until we get Vicksburg in our pocket. Vicksburg is the key, and we've got to have that key in our pocket. Now, taking Vicksburg was going to be a problem. The first problem is the river location. Back then, when you came down from the north, it made a big horseshoe bend right here at Vicksburg. Well, it was 30 miles around that bend. Anybody in Vicksburg on these hills could see boats coming down the river for 30 miles. And there was 12 cannon batteries along the water's edge here on the Mississippi River. So when General Grant started to come down to Vicksburg, he tried uh, seven different plans. Uh, his first plan was simply uh, to send General Sherman down the Mississippi River, come up the Yazoo River three miles north of Vicksburg and attack Vicksburg. That didn't work. He had to go through the sloughs and the bayous and the creeks, and it was 30 degrees outside. And, and he, his comment, some of his soldiers commented, they didn't know whether the soldiers were alive or dead. Both were frozen to the ground and blue. It was a terrible time for him, and that failed. And then he tried the ba different bayou plans. He tried coming in from the north or Tunica down through the Coldwater River. General Pemberton cut him off. That failed. He tried coming through two bayous over in Louisiana, cutting through them. Uh, the Mississippi River didn't co cooperate. He was either too high or too low. He couldn't get his boats through. Uh, that failed. Uh, he tried going through bayous in Mississippi, uh, just north of Vicksburg. Uh, that failed. Uh, same reason. It was too shallow. The Confederates cut him off. Admiral Farragut was going to cut a little ditch, which later became known as Grant Canal, going to cut a little ditch and bypass the river, and that way he could get up north of the river and just shell Vicksburg. But that failed. Uh, Admiral Farragut, the water, uh, the water level started dropping out, and he had to go back to Baton Rouge to the, blue, to the deep water. General Grant said, well, when I come down, I'll finish that ditch. He brought steam shovels with him. Uh, but while his steam shovels were digging, these cannons here could reach those steam shovels across the river over there. And also, the river didn't cooperate. It started, came up and started flooding. That failed. So Grant's only option then was to march, take a gamble and march his troops down through those muddy bayous and sloughs and, and through Louisiana and get across down below Vicksburg, 40 miles below. And, but then he had to get across the river, so he had to somehow get David Dixon Porter's uh, six gunboats and get them down there and 70 or 60 warships, get them across the river so he could get, a, get his troops across the river. It was late at night and the um, David Dixon Porter decided, I'm going to just go by Vicksburg at midnight. It's going to be dark. Maybe I can creep around that bend. Nobody will see me. Well, that wasn't the case. They saw it, and the cannons lit up. And, but Porter recognized that all the cannonballs were hitting high on the mast. He, he said, maybe they can't lower their cannons. Well, he told his captains, he said, get over to the Mississippi side. They were way over on the Louisiana side dodging the bullets. So he said, get over to the Mississippi side. They said, you got to be crazy. Go over there? He said, that's right. They can't hit you over there. So they all went over, and they had already lost one little boat, one little supply boat, but all of the six ironclads got down past because they couldn't lower their cannons down. If they did, the ball would either roll out or it would separate from the powder, and if they tried to shoot it, the cannon would blow up. 